Hi guys, I'm back out again for another whale camp. This time I'm in the beautiful Lake District and I'm just down from the summit of Brown Howe, which is the highest point on Lingmoor Fell, which is in between Great Langdale and Little Langdale. It's not the highest peak, but I think it's just in the right place, high enough up to get the views of the surrounding fells, which are just fantastic. I'm on this little plateau and I think it's a brilliant place to do a camp. The only problem is it's right on the walk as path. Now you can park down there. That's a bit of a woodland. I think that's where the National Trust car park is, but it's, I think you've got to pay. And me being a bit tight, you know, I had a look along there, but I couldn't see anywhere I could park. That road is just so narrow. There's one or two parking, not parking, there's passing places, but it's so tight. If you've got a big vehicle, you'll struggle along there. And I'm parked at the top of the pass from Great Langdale, where the National Trust um, campsite is. You go up like the, the windy road and you get to the top. And there's like one or two places you can park, but you've got to get there quite early. In fact, you can't get here too early. You know, more time spent here is just, it's just brilliant. But, so I've just been sitting here basically, you know, people have been passing and I was, it is quite a popular walk, people coming up, passing over Side Pike on the way to Brown Howe. I just think this area here is just ideal for a bivvy camp. You'll probably not get a tent in. We could get a small tent, but it's gonna be very lumpy. So I'm just gonna basically sit here and I'm not even gonna put me, we bivvy out until you know nine ten o'clock till it's time to go to bed because there is still a chance that some walker will come through and you know it's not very nice people walking through your camp i don't know about you guys but this is why i get out and do a bit of wild camping because you know it makes sense you know it makes sense one of the reasons why i like coming here you know because it just takes my mind off the drink <laughs> I've never fancied one out here. <laughs> Those of you that know me know that I like the history. And over there, on the Langdale Pikes, you've got the remains of a Neolithic axe factory from about 6,000 years ago. And they found the axes all over the UK. So that suggests to me that they were quite advanced and they're obviously trading and able to get around. But, I mean, look at them peaks. It just looks prehistoric, doesn't it? Looks like someone off a dinosaur film or something. The land that time forgot. And all the things I've got for the night is in that 35 litre backpack there. That's the Caramo Sabre SF 35 litre. And you know, I've got enough things in there to sustain me for the night. Just a small bivy camp in this area here somewhere. And I've noticed when I've dropped down a little bit, that's just no wind. Plus the wind is dropping like so, that's, that's a good thing. And as far as cooking goes, there's quite a few, you know, big rocks I can, you know, hide behind for whichever way the wind's coming from. There's plenty of shelter for cooking. Looks like there's people on the summit of Side Pike. So if I was camped down there, I wouldn't have, well, I wouldn't have the place myself basically. But it's been about, well, nearly three hours now and nobody's been up here. So I would say this is a gem of a place. And you know what it is? I haven't eaten all day. I had a big meal before I left, uh, left home. But I'm absolutely buzzing. My stomach, I've got butterflies. I, I, I don't know what it is about this place, but when I'm in the Lake District, I just, you know, I get all uh, emotional. <laughs> you know, but I don't mind sharing it with you guys. You know, it's, you know, you know, I keep saying it, you know, get out and do some walking, you know, get in the hills. And if you can, do a bivvy camp. It's just, it just feels so free being here, especially on your road. It feels a bit lonely. I, I am missing, that's probably why I talk too much, because I am missing a bit of company. But I've got you guys for company, so that's, a, you know what I mean? So I just have to thank you for coming along and never mind. I'm just gonna sit here and admire the views, and you know, and I'll get back to this later.
That's my camp set up, and I'm in the Hunter Bivy, and I'm in my three season Van Gogh sleeping bag. You've seen it all before. Got a pillow. I'm trying something different, well, not different, but I've tried it loads of times. I'm in my Thermarest Pro Light because that Crivet Air mattress that I've got from Lidl's, it is good and it is comfortable, man, but in the morning when I'm trying to deflate it, I'm fighting with it. It wants to blow away half the time, and then. Um, I've gone for my Pro Light because even though it's not as comfortable, you know, it's the same size and you know, packed down size and all that, it's just more convenient. You know, it, I can just deflate that in about 30 seconds, we probably not even that. With the Crivet Air mattress, doesn't matter how long I try, I could be on five, 10 minutes and I still can't get all the air out. I can put up with a little bit of discomfort, you know, in this place for views like that. And looking towards the east, you've got the Helvellyn range. See for miles on a day like this. The sun's going to come up about there. So if them clouds stay away, it should be spectacular. And now one thing, my belly thinks my throat's been cut. So I'm going to have something to eat. And I'm just going to keep it simple guys. Just chicken curry and rice. Heat it up in that pot using one of me wax burners. There's something about this place. I just get the feeling there's been people here before, perhaps going back thousands of years, sitting here having a supper. I camped a lot in some high places where I found a spot to bivy, it has been a little hollow where it's just been so comfortable and flat somewhere it's as if it was designed that way for somebody who wanted to spend the night on top of the hill and somebody suggested on, the, on my channel in the comment section that it could be a burial ground and it got me thinking and I thought yeah that's quite logical that could that could be true because when our loved ones die we take their ashes and we scatter them in places where the ones knew in life and loved and walked and why wouldn't our ancestors do the same it's almost like a big circle where you can just imagine people would have sat around thousands of years ago these places would have had loads of people living here because it was safe for them to live in the hills i mean all over the country that you can find you know prehistoric you know homesteads roundhouses hill forts that sort of thing so it was a very populated place Well, the mountains is losing that pinky hue and I think it must be getting near the blue hour. It'll probably get a bit too dark to fill my beautiful face. So I'm just going to switch off and I'm just going to sit and enjoy the rest of the evening. Hopefully there'll be a few stars come out. I'm not going to waffle, I'm just going to get away and I'll see you all later. Morning, 
Well, I was woken by the heat of the sun at about seven o'clock in the morning. It is just roasting red hot. It, was, it wasn't even cold last night either. There was a bit of a cold wind as it was, you know, as it got dark, but that dropped. The clouds came over, so I didn't get any star lapses, and I, was, I don't think as much of a sunrise either. Well, I just love this place. I'm, I'm going to leave early because I know there's a few cars down the bottom that weren't there earlier on, and they're probably walkers preparing to come up onto the fell, so I'm not going to waste much time. I'm going to basically just have to have done a little bit of waffling on the camera, and I'm going to get packed up and away. But this is just a beautiful place. You know, words can't describe. I'm not, I'm not trying to be poetic or anything like that, but... Filming places like this doesn't do it doesn't do it justice. You've got to get out here and see it for yourself. It's just fantastic. I've been so lucky this weekend with the weather. It's just been absolutely brilliant. In fact, it's a little bit too hot for my liking now. So I'm not gonna waffle, guys. I'm just gonna get packed away. And um, what I say, it's been a good one. I please you guys keep on for the adventure. I'll catch you all on the next one. me weird guys but remember get out and do a bit of wild camping you know it makes sense you know it makes sense